Now we're going to talk about Dig. Dig is one of the most popular social bookmarking sites. The goal, of course, is to get your site dug, but you never want to dig your own site. That's something that's really looked down upon. The thing is that people can give you a, a thumbs down and move your ranking down. So if you post a, if you dig your own site, you'll get a bunch of these thumbs down and you'll never get out of it. You'll end up in the hole. Okay, so having said that, the first thing we need to do is to set up a dig account. Click on join dig. And it's just basically this same as signing up to any other site. Just fill in all this top stuff and agree to their terms. And they're going to send you an email just like Delicio did that you need to verify. Then the, when the email arrives, you click on a link and you get to step three. And you can put your emails into here if you want from your address books. Or you can skip it. And then you want to change your profile, so you can click on Pimp Out Your Profile. Now you want a user-friendly profile here. In other words, you want to appear to be a real person, and you are trying to be an expert in your field. So over here you can add a bio and links. You can add a photo if you want to put a photo in. You can add friends in here. And of course you can see your stats down here when something happens with your account. So you can go into your profile setting. In here you can set all these things. You change your password, your pictures, your email settings, etc. Here you can set a link to your home page in your profile. So this is a good chance to get you at least one link. So put something in here that points to your site. And of course you can put your instant messenger IDs down here if you want. So this is just basic profile setup where you can get your profile put in here with your information, get one link to your site off of the bio and in a link and contact info. Now we're not really gonna concentrate too much on setting up the profile. What we're really trying to do here is get people to dig our site and dig has some tools to help us do that. Now let's go to the Dig homepage and have a look here. So what we see is people have posted stories or videos or articles on here. And you'll see it shows you how many digs are on here. It gives you a chance to dig it if you like it. So people will look at the sites. For instance, we'll go to this site, whatever it is. And normally these sites, if they're in the front page, they're really quite busy and it takes them a while to load because so many people are looking at them. Okay, so here's this site. So you can decide if you want to dig it. And a lot of times they will have or should have, there they have a dig right here. So you can dig it without leaving the site. Just like we did with Del Ikeo, they've put a dig button on here, which you will be doing as well. So if you want to dig it, you click this and the site has been dug. And this is what your goal is, is to get your site, get people to dig your site. On the other hand, if you appear to be spammy and you're, or you submit your own site, there's a bury button right here. And I'm not going to click that because it's not fair to this person. But if somebody buries your site, it and you get more people burying your site it's going to disappear and plus you get reported to dig and your profile could be disabled altogether so that's why it's real important to get other people to dig your site now let's go back to what i was saying before and go and look at the tools pretty much any time you come in to dig if you refresh the page the content on the page will change because people will have been voting on different things now what we're doing with dig is you write an article on your blog or a page and then you put a button on it so people can dig it now i said before you can't submit your own page but you can do it if you say hey this is my article i just wrote what do you think and 
if you don't do that too often, that should be okay. So what you do is you need to integrate a button onto your article. And down here we have Dig Tools, right at the bottom. So click on the Tool Kit, or Dig Tools. And you'll see that we have a series of tools down here. And what we want to do is use the integrated dig on your site. And what that does is it puts an integrated button right on the site for you. And dig this with submit capability is what you want to do. And here's the one you want to take right here. So we'll grab this. Just copy it. And then we'll go back to our blog. And into the dashboard, back in the presentation again. And I'm showing you on WordPress again, but each blog platform would be different. Into the header. And then place it just above where the content's going to go in. So I'll just paste that there and update. Then we go back to our site and view the site. Now we have a dig button here. So people can dig our site. Now when someone goes to your site and they click the dig button because they want to dig your site, they're brought back to their account with the URL. Then they put in the title of the story and some description here, and then they submit it. So if you're submitting your own article, you could put the title of the article here and say, uh, article on dog training or whatever it is that I wrote. What do you think? Something like that, if you wanted to submit your own. That'll get people looking at it and will get you some digs as well. So it's quite important that you have your dig buttons on here because dig's gonna be one of the ones that gets you the most traffic. Well, that concludes our video portion on dig. In the next video, we'll talk about Technorati.